When it comes to targeting in low-hanging fruit target or looking for when price is most likely going to reverse, then using standard deviations is a great option. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. When it comes to identifying standard deviations, we have to look at an important level where price is most likely going to reverse from. As we find these standard deviations at reversal areas, because when price is going to reverse, we usually have a leg before that. And this leg we can call the manipulation leg. Basically, price is manipulating down into that important level where price is going to reverse. So for example, let's say we have buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity down here then price is going to reach down into that sell side liquidity and then reverse from there. Then this leg down, sweeping the sell side liquidity, is the manipulation leg, as price is manipulating to then go in the opposing direction, targeting higher prices. Before we get further into the video, I'm just going to show you my settings on this standard deviation Fibonacci tool. Now that we know how to identify and also the settings on the standard deviation tool, we can then start talking about what we really use them for. And we use standard deviations mainly as a target, and we also use them of where we could be anticipating price to make a potential reversal from. And we're mainly going to focus on the minus 2 to minus 2.5 standard deviations, and also the minus 4 standard deviations. And when price reached the minus 2 to minus 2.5 standard deviations, that's where we're now going to look for price potentially making a reversal or making a retracement. And if price move on, or it closes above the minus 2 to minus 2.5 standard deviation, then we're now going to look at the minus 4 standard deviation. And the minus 1 standard deviation is kind of like a low-hanging fruit target that we're going to target before targeting the other standard deviations. For the first example, we can see that price ran buy side liquidity and also equal highs. And when price take out buy side liquidity or sweep buy side liquidity in this case, we usually have a manipulation leg going up into that important level. And here we can indeed see we have this manipulation leg sweeping that liquidity. So if we draw out our standard deviation tool from the high down to the low of this manipulation leg, we can then see the standard deviation targets that we want to target if we were to short at this area. So then first of all, when we're looking at these standard deviation targets, we also have to see if they're paired with any PDRA or swing low in this case. And if we look to the left, we can then see that we actually have these lows, which is almost paired with that minus one standard deviation. So this would be our bread and butter target. And if we zoom more out, we can then see we also have these lows almost paired with that minus two to minus 2.5 range. So that's how we would use the standard deviation tool to then look at some areas where we most likely want to target when shorting at the manipulation leg or just in this leg down here. A bullish example on how we can use these standard deviations, right here we can see that price ran sell side liquidity or swept sell side liquidity. And if we just zoom in, we can see that we have this manipulation leg going down, sweeping that sell side liquidity. And another gem is that usually when we have the manipulation leg, we can also find change in state of deliveries. And that is a bonus if you want to use that as a trade entry, as then we can both get a trade entry with the change in state of delivery. And then we can also use our standard deviation tool to then look for targets to target if you were to enter off of that change in state of delivery. And right here we can indeed see we have that manipulation leg. We also have our change in state of delivery, and that is paired with a fair value gap. So if you wanted to, you could enter off either the change in state of delivery or the fair value gap, put our stop loss beneath the low, as this would now be considered as the smart money reversal, and we would no longer see price return to this low. Now, where are we going to target? Well, that's where we use our standard deviation tool, from the low all the way up to the high. First of all, the minus one. Can we see that? It's paired with any PDRA array or, or swing high. Yes, it's paired with this fair value gap. If we extend that out, we can see that the consequent encouragement is paired with the minus one standard deviation. Price makes a close above the bread and butter target, makes a retracement, small mohawk into that IFEG now, and after that, just push price higher. Up here, we can see our minus two to minus 2.5 range. If we look over to the left, do we have any high? Yes, we do have buy side liquidity. 
price takes out the buy side liquidity. And here's something that we have to keep an eye on when looking at these standard deviation targets. And basically, this is where when price reaches the minus 2 or minus 2.5 range, we want to see price make a close above it. As then, it will indicate or signals to us that price is now willing to move higher and go for the minus 4 tar uh, standard deviation target. And also, when price reaches the minus 2 to minus 2.5 range, then we would either see price or want to see price make a retracement or make a straight up reversal from there. And we can see price ran the buy side liquidity, reached the minus 2 to minus 2.5 range, made a retracement into this FEG, as we can see. And from there, moved higher, making a close above that minus 2.5 range or the standard deviation. Now, minus four standard deviation. Do we have any target or any PD array over here to the left? No, not really. So this is just a target for itself. Price makes a close above it. We can see price makes a retracement and then from there moves higher. So price in this scenario, we can see it wasn't willing to make a reversal from the minus two to minus 2.5 range or the minus four standard deviation. So price was really bullish for this example. Another way we can use standard deviations is to anticipate a reversal. And right here we can see that price swept sell side liquidity and is now displacing higher. And if we use our standard deviation tool from the low up to the high of this manipulation leg going down on that sweep on liquidity, we can then see that we have the minus one standard deviation and if we extend that out, or the buy side liquidity right above that, we can see price swept that buy side liquidity, but then return above it. Then the next standard deviation target becomes the minus two standard devi deviation. And here we can see that we also have buy side liquidity paired with a fair value gap, and it's almost right around the minus two standard deviation. If we extend that out, we can see price swept that liquidity or the buy side liquidity. And again, swept that high right after that. From here, price is now starting to reverse. So we can see how using the minus two or the standard deviation targets to then see if price is willing to reverse from these areas can be beneficial when it comes to anticipating a reversal. Now that we know that price is starting to reverse from sweeping the buy side liquidity, and we can see that by price not making a retracement as we talked about before. When price reached the standard deviation targets, then we would like to see a retracement, not a reversal if we still like to keep that bullish trend. But here price do not make a retracement and just makes a straight up reversal. And if we go down into the five minute time frame, we can just zoom in here and see that we actually had a manipulation leg above that sweep on liquidity, which just swept the major buy side liquidity. So if we use our standard deviation from this high down to this low, then we can now get new targets if we were to short at this area. So that's how we can use a high time frame standard deviation reversal to then look at the lower time frame where we can now use a standard deviation targets again to target areas where we would be anticipating price to reach for. And we can also see that these standard deviation targets was mostly paired with buy sell or sell side liquidity. For example, this low right here, the 830 data lows was almost paired with that minus 2.5 standard deviation, minus four standard deviation. We can see was right around this sell side liquidity, which price swept all the way. And something that we have to remember when looking at the lower time frame standard deviation is that we could not anticipate price making a reversal from these areas as we know price is going to reverse on the higher time frame so then anticipating a reversal from lower time frame confirmation is not that high probability but we can see that price when it reached that minus two to minus 2.5 range or swept the data lows made a retracement into a fg right after that ran the minus four standard deviation and as we can see continued lower and ran the low of the standard deviation that we had on the 15 minute time frame.